Okay, folks, this is a bit of an Easter throwback. Let's see if we can make it look good. I just have to basically use what I can use for my videos, what I can find. So, you know, the old saying, take what you, what, what you can while you can, is basically it. A bit like the lyrics out of the song by Pseudo Echo called, um, what's that? Will It Be Over Tomorrow? And some of the lyrics go like, take what you can while you can. And I, it's a really good song. It's an inspiring song. Pseudo Echo, an Australian synthesizer rock and roll band. If that's a way of describing them. They've got both guitars, drums and and uh, synthesizers or keyboards. And they use a lot of the old, the keytars, which are the uh, keyboard controllers that held like a guitar and played similar to a guitar. And they're called keytars, K-E-Y-T-A-R-S, as in like guitar. Guitar except a key, keyboard instead of a guitar. And they make some really good music. Um, oh, really, they're an Australian band and they're really something to be proud of as an Aussie. Uh, really proud to be having, having a band like that in our country. I'm not the type of person that goes crazy. I don't go to concerts. We're going to use this. I don't go to concerts. I don't, I'm not a crazy, crazy fan, but I just really love their music. And, yeah, and they're just something to be to be proud of that they're real something that that, that Aussies have achieved at have done well one of the famous songs that they created for the charts back in 1986 was funky town which was which was a which was a theirs was a cover of the lip sync uh, song called Funky Town and Pseudo Echo have become famous, uh, pretty well famous for that and they've done a really good job of Funky Town and it, yeah Talk about, talk about, talk about moving Talk about, talk about I can't really sing, sorry folks I don't want to subject you folks to my poor rendition um, but my dad likes to sing and he can't sing he's a fucking idiot my dad's a dill he thinks he can sing and he can't sing for fuckery um i don't want to try and sing myself because i'm not too good at it i probably could sing i've got the voice but i can't sing because i yawn i tend to yawn when i sing um and I, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a photocopier artist. That's what my primary talent is. I want to concentrate on what I can do and what I'm into. I'm not into singing. If I'm going to be musical, I want to play keyboards, synthesizers, and maybe sing through a, um, a vocoder, which is like a, a, a machine that makes your voice sound like a robot. So I like that sort of shit. Uh, but I can't sing, folks. As in, I can't sing without yawning. Uh, but I'm not interested in just singing, folks. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. I think the first version was was better. This looks a lot better. There's a lot of purple in it, folks. But that's the um, Cadbury. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to just get rid of the negative positive and the brown. And the settings associated with it. Yeah, well, Easter is long since gone, and it's not going to be around until April next year. I, yeah, we know that. But we're looking forward to Christmas in July. If I can get my material on the 6 o'clock news beforehand, and if I can get in touch with Luigi and marry him, we can have a honeymoon up in the um, snowy mountains. 
or wherever the snow is. Let's come up with some shit house. I think that's shit, folks. I think we're going to utilise this. This looks much better. But basically, I really miss Luigi and I'm trying to get my creative photocopier use on the 6 o'clock news on uh, Channel 9, which is proving to be more difficult than I imagined, but I'm not going to give up, folks. I'm going to stick with it. You won't see me piking out on it by not doing it. I'm going to keep going at it, folks. Fucking going to keep going at it. I know that I've been working on it now for more than... Um, more than... Uh, shit, how many years now? 12 years? It's been more than 12 years since I started working on this. And it's just been... A real slog, really hard work. Uh, it doesn't seem to be paying off yet. Um, the photocopy has been paid off, fortunately. Um, at last, we just paid it off a couple of weeks, nearly two weeks ago, I think was the last, probably was the last instalment that I had to pay in my bank loan for this piece. I take my art very seriously. Otherwise, I would never have taken my hard-earned pittance and put it towards this piece of equipment. Uh, sometimes you have to do that, folks. Even when you're broke, sometimes you go broke. Some, You know, you can't afford to keep ends meeting as much as you should. But sometimes you have to do it. And one of the ways I'm trying to save money on the corners is rationing my hot water rationing both the electricity and the water so I don't have a big bill. I want to go into the, um, I like being in the credit, in, in credit to my utilities. Um, I haven't, the water was changed recently as in the way that it's billed. This looks a bit dull, a bit wishy-washy. The way that it's been billed has been changed. We used to just pay in this social housing precinct, we just used to pay like what you a fixed rate for unmetered water and now the the water is now metered we now get have to pay what for what we use and i don't know how how that's going to impact so i've decided by caution to keep on rationing the hot water and the electricity is probably going to go up and up and up like everything else the cost of living is absolutely horrendous um this, I think, will utilise in this darker version. So the cost of living is becoming a little bit horrendous. Uh, it's, they, it looks really bad. When I watch the 6 o'clock news, they're always talking about what they call interest rate hikes and the Reserve Bank and all that sort of shit that I struggle to understand. But I know that when they talk about rates and they say they're going to hike it, it means it's going to go up and that it's going to make things difficult for little people like myself and yeah so little people like myself are increasingly under stress financially and I guess that's probably why the housing people had to um, change the billing method because everything's it's just too expensive for them you know they have to do it folks I know it's, I'm not I'm not going to sling off at them because it's been good that they were keeping it unmetered for that long and I knew it was going to happen I knew they were going to change it because everything just goes up and up and up in price and they have to uh, make sure they can afford the maintenance of things and shit like that so yeah but it does it gets passed on to us the uh, consumer and the rent goes up that's another thing that I've got to be careful the rent is going, will again go up. It never goes down. Rent is going up all over the place. I'm just grateful I've got this place. Otherwise, I'd be on the street. I would. I'd be on the fucking street. There's not enough affordable housing for little doers uh, on Centrelink payments like the disability support pension, which is what I get. So, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. That's come up uh, better than I thought. I think we can now... Actually, we might do a switcheroo, I do think. i do a switcheroo, folks. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, it's difficult to know sometimes. But, yeah, everything's just going up in price. It's gone mad. 
that's why that's the problem with these money fuckers in the world is that they make everything so expensive they don't manage things properly they don't look after things they don't look after the little people they just look after themselves and this is what you get shit and that's come up looking good too i think we can now call this demo quits